Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis. Good evening. Good evening to everyone. Good evening, Oli. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you today? Hi, and thank you. And you? I'm doing okay, thanks. Nice. Remember, when you pronounce evening, you only pronounce two syllables. You go like this, ev. Solo que no me funciona mis audífonos. Lo voy a conectar. Okay, can you see the chat? Yes. Yes. Okay, so when you say evening, evening has only two syllables. It's not evening. That's not good. Evening. Evening. Yes. Uh huh. Two syllables. Okay. Do you guys good. do you guys remember how to identify the number of syllables in a word? Do you? No, I don't. Okay. So if I say uh, Mexico, Mexico, how many syllables does Mexico have? Three. How do you know? Three is correct. How do you know? Okay, so how many letters do we have in the English alphabet? Yes. How many letters do we have in the English alphabet? 24? Not really. Okay, let me ask you something easier. How many letters do we have in the Spanish alphabet? Mm, 24. In Spanish? <laughs> Somebody help Luis, Kelly, Olympia, Laura? Tengo problemas con mis audífonos. Estoy probando como 20 mil, 5 mil, yes. Okay, so tell us in English. Okay, so in Spanish, we have um, 27 letters. 27 letters in the Spanish. Hold on, I'm not typing anything. 27 letters in the Spanish alphabet. In the Spanish, there are 26. 27. 27. 27, 27. 27. 27 letters in the Spanish alphabet. Now, let me ask you, what's the difference between the English and the Spanish alphabet? One letter. Okay, which letter? Ñ. Right. So, how do gringos pronounce any if it doesn't exist? They don't pronounce. Okay, so if your last name is Nunez, how do they pronounce Nunez? With N, they exactly. say Nunez. Exactly. Nunez. Exactly. So, if the difference is letter any, how many letters do we have in the, in the English alphabet? How many letters we have in the English alphabet, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the question. 20, 26. Very good. Very good. So we have 26 letters in the English alphabet. So the only difference between the Spanish and the English alphabet is letter Ñ. So they say Nunes, Quinones, El Nino, uh, and, and things like that. All right, any questions or comments? Questions or comments, no? No. No, teacher, we are good. Okay, so what's today's date? The day it's March 3. March 3, no, March 3. You sure? Third, inordinal number, third. 
Yeah. Okay. Is it? Oh okay. yeah, but but it's March fourth. Exactly. March fourth. Yeah, the fourth. Mm -hmm. March fourth. Yes. March 4th. Ordinal mm -hmm. numbers. You're right. Ordinal numbers. And what is the year? What's the year? Twenty twenty one. Twenty one. Excellent. Twenty twenty one. Okay. So. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. No, it's a mentira, it's a mentira. Okay. Uh, any questions about yesterday? What topics did we cover yesterday? Mm -hmm. The simple past tense. Simple past tense. Very good. Uh, do you remember the differences between regular and irregular verbs? What's the difference? Um, the regular add ed and the irregular verbs usually change. Very good. When we use regulars, you use, uh, you always write ed, and when you're talking about irregulars, uh, the verb usually changes. Not always, but it usually changes. Right. Any questions or comments? Pregúnteme si ya cené, si cené. I do have the... Do you how your day? No. What, what's the auxiliary we use for the simple past? Did. Did. So, pregúnteme si comí, si cené. Have you... Do you already uh, have a dinner? Did you? Did, did you? you have, did you? Did you have dinner? Did, did you, you eat have dinner? dinner? Uh huh. Did okay. you already have your dinner? Okay, that is good too. Did you already have your dinner? Yep. Pregúnteme si envié el reporte. You did you send your report? Did you send did the, the report or a document? Okay. Did did you send the report? Did you send the document? Pregúnteme si pagué el recibo. Did, Did you pay the, the bill? bill? Did you pay the, the bill? bill? Did you pay the bill? So remember something. Did you pay the bill? Did you eat dinner? Did she eat dinner? Did they win? So, what is the auxiliary we use to make questions in the simple past? Did. Did. What happens to the verb? What is the form of the verb? In present tense. It stays Did. base form. It stays uh -huh. base form. Yes, very good. So, remember, English is completely different than Spanish. So, when you're making questions, we did the form of the verb stays uh, base form. Any questions or comments? No? No. No teacher. Okay, no, so let's, <laughs> let's begin. What time is it now? Eight and six minutes. Eight? Oh seven. We oh seven. Okay. So remember, when the minute is between one and nine, it is mandatory that you say O. Oh. So las ocho y siete. So you will say eight o oh, seven. Eight o oh, seven. Got it? Yes. Got it. Okay. So, a uh, friendly reminder, you know, because of the inconvenience that I had last night, we have classes today and we have classes tomorrow. So, I expect to see everybody here tomorrow. Any questions cool. or comments? No? Okay. So no. All right. Okay. No so, let okay. me... Right. Let me share. Yes. 
Good evening, teacher. Hello, Elena. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Okay. Better than yesterday. Yay! <laughs> I, I am one day older, but I'm better than yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody's one day older. <laughs> yes. With, with no exception. Okay, let me open this document for you. Mm -hmm. Loading, loading. Supposed to be opening. Okay. Can you see the questions here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so these are the questions you guys are going to be discussing in pairs. So remember, when I visit, uh, the different rooms when you guys are working together, I am happy to hear that you're not speaking Spanish. That is very good. So can somebody please help me with the image? See this here? Mm -hmm. See this? Antonio, share the image in WhatsApp group. Let me see it. Oh, excellent. Very good. Yeah, Luis and Blacks, GZ, whoever that person is. Okay, so let me... Um, Assign your groups, your pair work, breakout rooms, 15 people, that's a good number. Create rooms, add a room. Here we go. Share your, uh, your opinion uh, about English in general. And I'm gonna be visiting you uh, room by room just in case you guys have questions. So go ahead. I am not in, in the group. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Antonio, you're working with uh, Laura. Laura okay. Rodriguez. questions the same questions I am going to ask to you and then you are going to ask me the same questions to me mm, very well okay well let's start with the number one why okay. is English so important uh, well, what is your I, opinion about that well I think English is important now because it is like hello hello Hello, Mr. How are you, Glenda? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I'm doing okay, thanks. How was your day? Ah, my day was great and so busy. Uh-huh. Where do you work, Glenda? Where? In a school, in a public school. Oh, you're a teacher? Yes. Oh, nice. What subjects do you teach? Uh, all that subject because I have first grade oh how many um, students do you have uh, 34 and you're teaching online yes <laughs> every you're use, day you're using uh <laughs> google google meet or or uh, or teams no i i use whatsapp because uh, oh. people has social media right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. They don't have a, a saldo. 
Uh, what do you say? Funds. 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 F U N D S. Funds. They don't have funds. Ah, uh, they don't have. They don't have funds yeah. to use uh, other application. Right, right. I imagine. I imagine. Mm -hmm. And we start at 7.15. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And do you teach only the morning or the whole day? Uh, the morning and in the afternoon, I teach uh, physical education. Oh, but good. but but in the afternoon is easier because I send guides uh, Monday on Mondays. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, good, mm -hmm. interesting. So you're my <laughs> colleague. You're my colleague. Colleague? What's the meaning? Colleague, colega, colleague. Ah, good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But you are in other level because you work with. Uh, adults yeah uh, i prefer uh, yeah I, pre I prefer adults you know i have the chance to work with little ones with adults. teenagers mm -hmm. but i prefer adults i prefer uh, children mm -hmm. okay yeah everybody mm -hmm. has different likes and dislikes ah uh, i know <laughs> Okay, I know so, mm -hmm. all right, so let me visit another room. I'll be right back. Good, Good. thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye. The thing mm -hmm. I leave is because I don't like grammar, but because it's difficult for me. I am, me too. Yeah. You, you don't like grammar? No, <laughs> I did. It's very difficult. Ah, uh, yeah, I yeah, I like, but it's very difficult for me. Okay, actually, you know, like you don't need grammar for communication. You know, grammar has eight parts. Grammar has eight parts, but okay. from those eight parts, you only need two for communication: verbs and nouns. Verbs yes, you're right. So adjectives, adverbs, um, prepositions, that's not necessary when you speak. Yes. Okay. Um, not, I, I know it is very easy, really. No, um, it, it takes practice. It takes practice. Yes, yes. I no practice. Uh, I am. I don't no practice. Okay. Is uh -huh. very important uh, practice today. It is. It's necessary. Yes. Yes. As super. No. See, it is very important. Very necessary. Yes. 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 It is. Okay. Let me visit another room. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Say bye. Well, my goodness, they are so smart, I think. Yes. Um, Which number are you discussing right now? The number uh, three. Number three, do you think English is more or less difficult than your language? What is your uh, opinion? No, perdón, teacher, number two. Oh, what are the things you like most and least about English. Yes. What is your favorite part about English? Um, as I told my classmate, uh, uh -huh. maybe grammar and speaking. Okay. But, uh -huh. And the things that I don't like about English is to learn new vocabulary. I think that is so difficult for me. Okay. You know, and learning vocabulary is um, is kind of simple because you know, like you learn the word, you write sentences, you apply it when you speak, and and, and things like that. So, but everybody's different. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let me visit another room. I'll be right back. Thank Bye, you. Bye, teacher. All right. Bye. Bye. Um. 
what is your favorite word in English and why? And for experience, I can see many uh, examples where um, people that are native in English. Native. Native. Yes. Thanks, teacher. When people are native with that language, they have more, uh, but more difficult to learn Spanish than we learn the English. It's my experience, but what do you think? Yes, I agree with you. I have, I have met uh, some people that think the same as you. Because, you know, in our native language that is Spanish, it has like more, it is more complex than English. It has more rules than English, than English. So, so uh, for us, it can be uh, less difficult less difficult to learn English than Spanish because if I can talk Spanish, if I can understand all the rules of the Spanish, it can be a little difficult uh, to learn English. Yeah. Because yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we used to, we used to have a lot of information. In English, that's not a difference. It doesn't have important yes. because you can yes. say respeto, respeto was in Spanish. That's not <laughs> good. It sounds uh, so bad. Yes. It sounds but it's a, it's a worse. Good mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes. The number uh, five? Yes. What more important? Speaking, reading, writing, or listening? Uh, at the least. Because in different countries, the pronunciation is different in the English. Yeah, it's true. Like um, an example in the UK or in England, in both parts, this is uh, a little bit different than the, in the United States. <laughs> they yeah. say the computer, uh, Apple say the computer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, we may mix with the Hindu person is more difficult <laughs> or Chinese yeah. person. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> uh, they, they are, so the the pronunciation is or least I like the <laughs> the least about English for me. <laughs> what yeah, about you? Uh, in my case, I think that. Maybe the grammar is a little bit difficult to me. Um, the thing that maybe G B E. And if you want, you can send me a message to to the to the name, please. In WhatsApp? No, in this room. Um, okay. Which, which number are you guys discussing? The number three. Okay, do you think English is more or less difficult than Spanish? Which one do you think is more difficult, English or Spanish? English. I, English. I think Spanish is more difficult for other people. Yeah. Yes. Spanish is way more difficult than English. Just because uh, if the grammar is more difficult. Spanish is more complete. So if something is more complete, that means that there is uh, more information to explain. So Spanish is more uh, difficult, definitely. Yes. So you guys are lucky that you domain your Spanish 100%. Yes. Very good. Como, how do you say, se complementa? Complements. Uh -huh. Thanks, teacher. Therefore, 
teacher, speaking, reading, writing, or listening are verbs, right? Those are the four the form. macro skills. Macros, ma macro skills. Macro skills. Yep. The four macro skills. Uh, uh huh. Which one do you think is the most important? The four macro skills are important for me. Okay. You know, they have a different percentage of how people use it in communication. But now with technology, you know, more people are writing more. Mm. Yeah. So, um, like, if I want to communicate with somebody, my first option is usually, what's up? Speaking. Ah, and speaking. Right. Hey, I need to speak to you in, in 20 minutes, maybe. So I use a lot of what's up. I don't like to write <laughs> in what's up. Thanks, teacher. Okay, good. Let me visit another room. And Carla and Sarah, you guys are group number six. All right, so let's go here. Yeah, that is important. Um, as no, I know is um, mm, um, vocabulary diary, okay? Daily vocabulary. Daily. 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 What? Daily. Daily. Daily vocabulary. Daily vocabulary. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. All right, you guys have four more minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. that the other one uh, are going to make laugh about us. And it, uh, it, it can be so embarrassing to us, but for that reason, I think speaking, it is more important. I am agreed. I am agreed because in addition to, to what you say, um, I am thinking about or um, how I can say hermanos lejanos, maybe faraway brothers. Yeah, yeah, you can say that. You can say that. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, I, I, I'm talking about our faraway brothers because when <laughs> they go to to United States, uh, the first thing they need to get a job, to get some kind to labor to to wh where they need money, uh, they need to speak. Right. Then, then it's the the most most important, the more important thing. Uh, about any language is it's a speak right yep okay good all right uh, teacher we we, we <laughs> have more time or we finish in this moment you have two more minutes two more minutes okay yes, okay. yes sir thank you okay, okay. Yeah, pineapple uh, mm, pineapple uh -huh, uh -huh, but the teacher says, uh, but example, for example, I went to English classes and the teacher say, do you like vegetables? And I say to my classmate, what are they saying? What is vegetables? Because that's not the pronunciation that they teach us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I went to... Uh, a uh, public school, Mas Ferrer, but in that time uh, was different because English starts, mm -hmm, it starts what, in the school. What uh, year did but, you go to Mas Ferrer? What year? Uh, <laughs> I was in, I graduate of there in in the 1996. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Ahora se enseñan súper bien, o sea, es, es muy avanzado. Now the English is so advanced in that yeah, yeah. the students are bilingual. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bilingual. Wow, in this time, bilingual, uh, in this time. Yes, before they didn't know get English class, English class. Maybe not. And only, only the basic, only hello, good morning, or, or any song when you <laughs> take uh, and we, a class, but now it's different. Mm -hmm. And I had a classmate that she went to the CCS and the teacher always asked her, uh, Beatriz, how do you say uh, labial in English? All the classmates give us the class, but sometimes the classmate no quería pasar. Didn't want, didn't want, ah, to didn't, want didn't want to teach us. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, because let's go. Let's go back to the main session. Yeah, no, it but, happens. It happens. Uh, but the poor teacher, because the principal assigned her to teach English. Yeah, mm -hmm. it happens. And for for buy some something some, something made, medicine for for family. And that's that's why the English is a possibility. Uh, honestly, for earn more money in this life, money sometimes is very definitely the situation of our life. Yes. But it's not. About, it's not about love is important in, in the life of the human. But yes. in capital system, money is <laughs> is very important to to earn. Yes, that that's true. Uh, we see a boy, a boy that, that's, that's, that's reality. Uh, it's important to learn money. Uh, yes, we, that's true. If we win in, in politics, it doesn't matter. If you don't work, you, you don't have to, to pay to build your medicine, your food, to help your family, study, right? That's it. English is very important. It is. It is. All right. It is, it is. Yes. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Any questions or comments about the uh, speaking activity? A comment. Yes, sir. A comment, and because um, in, in in personal way, I love. I really, really love this moment because um, it, when, when we talk in English. When we try to express my ideas in English, I can evolve my, my tongue and lost shame. Yes. Uh, I, I love this, this practice, really. I yeah. love this practice because it's the moment where I can learn much and much. Thank right. you. Right, right, yeah. And you guys have to feel blessed and I'm not criticizing anybody, but I know people that they go to the United States 15, 20, 25 years, they come back to the country and they don't speak anything, you know. So uh, you guys are speaking the language and English is not your first tongue. So you guys should be blessed that you guys can communicate using a foreign language. Anybody else? Any questions, any comments? So remember, English is not a subject. English is a life skill. A life skill can save your life. A life skill can change your life. So keep that in mind. Anybody else? Somebody wants to say a comment before we change activity? Me, teacher. I like very much the exercise um, for the practice. Uh, I think the this practice uh, helped to us to speak English and do not translate. And you're only thinking English and speaking English. It's a good exercise for me in this uh, in this way. 
Exactly. And remember, practice makes perfect. So that's why when you guys come to class, you need to change your chip and say, okay, this is the time to practice the language. Forget your Spanish. All right, anybody else before we change activity? No? Okay, let's practice some listening. Let me ask you, how do you practice your listening skills when you are in your free time? What do you do? Do you watch television? Do you listen to music? Do you speak right. to other people? What do you do to right practice that. your listening? Right that, listening to music. Okay. YouTube, right. listening to music. Yeah. I am trying to hear some podcasts on Spotify in English. Good. Excellent. Excellent. On the on, on the internet is is very very important to listen to the music and see the lyric and right. try to repeat. Because right. uh, uh, either we, we are not a singer, but the, the, the idea is to pronunciation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like very much uh, in Apple Music is a podcast for Duolingo. It's a good exercise because the, the English is, is not too fast and you, the, you listen more and it's a, a good way to listen. Uh, um, additional to the music. Very good. Someone else? Someone else? Yes, I try to listen uh, podcasts too and listening to music and try to understand what they are singing. Good. It's very, good. It's very yeah. difficult for me, but I try to do it. And sometimes I watch uh, movies in English but believe me, it's very difficult to understand. Right. Yeah. And nobody said that, you know, learning anything in life is easy. You know, it's going to be, you will find difficulties, you will find challenges. But at the end, that's what life is all about. You know, when you learn how to cook, when you learn how to drive, when you learn how to swim, when you learn another language, when you're learning something about computers, it's not that easy. But that's what life is all about. Yes. All right. All right. Do you guys have pen and paper ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or you can use your um, Word document, anything. Okay. So I have five questions for you. You copy the questions. We compare the questions. And when everybody's ready, I'll play the audio and you answer the questions. Question number one. What's the telephone number? Question number two, what's the last name? What's the last name? Teacher, you can repeat the question number one, please. Sure, what's the telephone number? That is the first question. What's the telephone number? Question number two, what's the last name? Question number three, how are they related? How are they related? Repeat, please. How are they related? Related. Uh-huh. Let me write it in the chat. Thank you. How, yes, teacher, please. Sure. How are they related? Teacher, and what is the meaning of related? Okay, can somebody explain what, what the meaning of the question is? Let me give you an example. Do you remember Michelle and Barack Obama? Yes. How are they related? Are it's they, like a relation, relationship. Are they brothers and sisters, uncle, nephew? I mean, uncle, husband nephew. and wife. Husband and wife. Husband and wife. Yeah. yeah. How are they related? Okay. Yeah. ¿Qué son, ¿Cuál es la conexión? What's the connection they have? How are they related? 
Question number four. Okay. What's the address? What is the address? And question number five, what time is it? What time is it? Any questions or comments? Not the Are the five questions clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. So remember, if somebody asks you, usted que es de ella? You will say, how are you related to her? How are you related to her? So if I say uh, Vicente Fernandez and Alejandro Fernandez, how are they related? Dad and son. Dad and son. Dad and son. Father and son. Okay, are the questions clear? Okay, so I'm going to put everybody on mute so there is no interruption from anybody. And I will play the audio. Here we go. Give me a second. Page 62. Exercise 9. Listen and comprehension. Listen to the conversations. Answer the questions. Conversation 1. What's your phone number? It's 845-82-28009. 845-82-28009. Is that right? That's right. Can you hear the audio? Very good. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. There, there will be a repetition, so don't worry. Question number two. Here we go. Conversation two. Please spell your name. My first name or last name? Last. Sure. It's Johnson. J-O-N-S-E-N. -E Conversation three. Is that your son? Yes. How old is he? He's five. He's so cute. Conversation four. Excuse me, where's the corner school? The corner school? It's around the corner. Around the corner? Yes. The address is 12 West 12th Street. Conversation five. Excuse me, what time is it? It's a quarter to three. A quarter to three? That's right. All right, here we go. Um, does anybody have the five answers or do you need repetition? Repetition, please. Okay, here we go. Yeah, repeat, please. Sure, no problem. Exercise nine. Listen and comprehension. Listen to the conversations. Answer the questions. Conversation one. What's your phone number? It's 845-82-28009. 845-82-28009. Is that right? That's right. Conversation two. Please spell your name. My first name or last name? Last. Sure. It's Johnson. J-O-N-S-E-N. Conversation three. Is that your son? Yes. How old is he? He's five. He's so cute. Conversation four. Excuse me, where's the corner school? The corner school? It's around the corner. Around the corner? Yes. The address is 12 West 12th Street. Conversation five. Excuse me, what time is it? It's a quarter to three. A quarter to three? That's right. All right. I get it. Good, good. 
Un carete, teacher. Okay, very good. So remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Mistakes are part of the learning process. So if you make a mistake, that's fine. Okay, volunteer, what is the telephone number? Me. The okay, number, the telephone number is 8458228009. Excellent, very good. That is the telephone number, 845-8228009. Does everybody agree with the answer? Yes, we yes. Do. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very good, yes. nice, excellent. Another volunteer for the last name, uh, for the last name. How do you spell the last name? Okay, yo, I am. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, uh, my, last na my last name is Escobar. Mm, but the, the last name in the audio. Both the audio. In the audio. Uh, teacher, uh, I think is Johnson. Okay. Uh, J-O-N-S-E-N. Excellent. J-O-N-S-E-N. -E yes, teacher. Very good. Johnson. Thank let, you. Me, let me write it in the chat. Okay. Johnson. Right there. You see the chat? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, question number three. How are they related? Can I try to They are father and son. Okay. The, the relator of they are father and son. Father and son. Do you remember how old the baby is? Five years, Five years old. Five years old. And what is the woman's uh, comment? He's cute. It's so cute. He's so <laughs> cute. Yeah. All right. Good. Um, what's the address? Number four. What's the address? It's around the corner. 12 West, 12th Street. Excellent. It's 12 West, hold on a second. 12th Street. 12 West, 12th Street. Okay, it's right there in the chat. 12 West, 12th Street. Do you have the same answer? Yeah. Yes, okay. All right. And uh, what time is it? Quarter to three. A quarter two, to three. And 45 minutes. Or 2.45. Right. Very good. Nice. You guys did well. Congratulations. Okay. Um, any questions about the listening? You know, something that is very effective for listening are movie trailers. Movie trailers are good because number one, they are short. So let's say uh, second 42. I don't understand that part. You very, you go very easily. How do you say retrasar in English? Rewind. Rewind, exactly. So very Rewind. simple. You rewind the video and you go back to the particular uh, minute or second where you're having difficulty to understand. But movie trailers are good. Uh, I understand that everybody here has a favorite movie. Do you guys have a favorite movie? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I will give you a, a suggestion. Today, tomorrow, when you have the time, go to YouTube and put the movie trailer of your favorite movie to see how much you understand. Any questions? Let me That's, that is a very good tip. That is a very good tip because uh, one, one of my favorite movies is the Star Wars saga. Okay. Uh, but what's very different when I listened the dialogue, dialogue Dialogue. <laughs> yeah, dialogue. In English. In English. Right. Um, because in English, I can understand um, more details of the of the history that we don't know in the Spanish dialogue. Yeah. 
I remember the first time that I went to see Star Wars, like 40 years ago, maybe. Maybe like 40 years ago. We went to watch the movie in, in Cine Darío, near downtown San Salvador. And when we got there, it was so crowded that we were standing watching the movie. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. nice, nice yeah. movie. All right. Now, let me ask you, were you guys together in a previous group, in a previous English class? Someone. Someone. No, 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 all, no, all. someone. No, it's someone. Okay. So how many months have you been studying with Inglés Corporativo? Nine, three, five. None. So, so you, this is your first time? To me, yes. My it's first my time. first time studying English in, in Inglés Corporativo, yes. Oh, okay, good, very good. I start with Inglés Corporativo, I think in October, the last year. Okay, all right, good. Yeah, so, uh, but you guys are doing uh, really well. So Glenda says, this is my second month. All right. Any questions or comments? No? Okay. No question. All right. So remember, like I was telling you, uh, going back to the, to the activity uh, with the English, when you're talking about English, English is not a subject, it's a, it's a life skill. Why do you think children learn faster than adults to learn English? Why do you think they learn faster? Because they have a more uh, fresh his mind. Okay, that's a possibility, right? I, I think is uh, they don't have a, a shame <laughs> to speak. <laughs> that is another reason, yes. So they make mistakes I, and they don't worry about making mistakes. They, they just keep talking. Are there other reasons why children learn faster than adults? And they have a great memory. Okay, yeah. You know, you know, scientists, they have proven that you can speak to a boy or a little girl you know, five different languages at the same time, and they absorb the, the, the five languages, and they they have good uh, good skills to communicate. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Maybe no? another reason is because for the kids, all everything is it's a, it's a game. Everything is. Uh, a, a play, uh, then they don't take with um, in serious way the activity. Right. So they say, oh, we're learning. Let's keep having fun, you know. So it's true. You know, everything is a game for them. You know, childhood, it's, uh, you know, for many people, is the best part of, of someone's life. Not for everybody, but for most of us, it is. So... Okay, any other suggestions why children learn faster? No? Okay, so let me reassign you. I will assign you to work in pairs so you practice uh, the, last five, the last five minutes of the class, improving your fluency, your accuracy. Uh, what is accuracy? Let me write it in the chat. Fluency and accuracy. What is fluency? What's fluency? When we talk, uh, uh, fluency is a fluent, or say, uh, how much we can speak. What is the the the, the velocity with with we use the words? Okay, Maximiliano, what do you think? Uh, fluency is something like you can talk and, and express and express that you, you, you think and with, with another problem. Yeah? Okay, right, right. So fluency makes reference not how fast you speak, but how well 
you speak. You know, like, okay, I understand what he's saying, blah, 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 that's fluency. And what is accuracy? What is accuracy? Accuracy is the uh, right use of the words. Right, right. So if I say Guatemala is more big than El Salvador, is that accurate? Guatemala is more big than El Salvador. Is that a good yes. sentence? Yes, yes. It's, true. it's a fact. <laughs> okay, no. it's a fact. But pay attention to the language that I use. Guatemala it's not is accuracy. There is it's not accurate. So Glenda says Guatemala is bigger than El Salvador. Mm -hmm. That is accurate. That is accurate. So accurate means to use the language correctly. And that's when grammar comes into action. Remember, you don't need grammar for communication. So you, you should worry about fluency, pronunciation, intonation, because we want to sound uh, natural. So it's good to know grammar, but grammar should not be your priority. And, and as we come to class, uh, I will give you examples of why I'm saying what I'm saying. So let me assign you to work in pairs again, recreate rooms, and you will tell your friend the tips that you have to improve your English. Here we go. We're almost gone. We got like four or three more minutes. So the question will be, what do you do to improve the language? I'm alone again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. Which, um, yeah, you're supposed to be working with Patty. But yeah, Patty, but Patty left. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have a couple of people that they have left. Let me see if I can move you to okay. room seven. Let me see if I can move it to room seven. Okay, Tito. All right. Okay. Can you tell me first what are your tips? Well, um, do you remember that a classmate that we have sent up to speak with native speakers? Do you remember? Yes. Well, I me or no, I don't know how to say that. That app uh, two months ago, and I have been uh, practicing with a girl who is from I don't remember the the country, but that helped me a lot to improve my English. I think that it is a good way to, for example, learn new vocabulary or get more fluency because they, they also teach you to pronounce the, the word in a right form. And also they correct you when you write a and in the book. Yes. Uh, Yes, it has I a do. good tip. Uh, me, sometimes I listen English music and I cry read and use the app. Um, the good app I'm looking is Kate. Kate is a good app. In About listen to music, mm -hmm. uh, we can read more, but in English. 
and call to a classmate and greet. <laughs> yes, this is super important and and for me, I need to, to learn more because I would like to have a great job when and because I think the in the future English will English is going to to open many doors because if you Oxford yeah. we include All right. So I know that uh, you can share different tips uh, to your friend. And let me see, we have 30 seconds more while everybody comes back. Any questions or comments or something you want to share about how to practice and improve your language? No? I have a comment teacher. Yes, tell us. When I accept your invitation for the room, uh, the platform get out. It, it kicked you out? Yes. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the platform uh, presents issues in terms of accepting or, or rejecting people. So sorry about that. Okay, anybody else? Any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? No? Okay, so it's nine o'clock. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Good night, you sure? Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. See ya. Bye. See ya.